In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use time lapse and slow motion mode. It might sound a little bit complicated, but with the K1, trust me, it's so easy to shoot time lapse in slow mo. I use these features almost every single day. So let's go ahead and get started with the time lapse, shall we? Video and photo settings. First, I'll show you how to shoot normal video followed by slow motion and then time lapse video. Normal video. First, select resolution and frames per second. Then you can set up a time. If you selected 30 seconds, you will see your gimbal camera move automatically according to how you set your camera. You can set up a time by going into motion setting. You can also select and set up your starting point and ending point for your time lapse video. Once you choose where you want your camera to start, simply press the trigger to set point A. Next, use your joystick to select the ending point, point B, and press the trigger to confirm. Then simply hit the record button and you're good to go. Slow motion. Under slow motion, this mode gives you an ability to record at 120 frames per second and 240 frames per second. If you go back to playback mode, you can easily preview your shots or playback recorded videos. Motion setting can be used in both time lapse and slow motion mode. Time lapse video. Again, time lapse is the same as I explained before. First, simply select time lapse mode and everything else is the same. You're not done yet. With the K1, you have the ability to shoot low angle shots too. Simply press the trigger three times, one, two, three, and that'll put you into selfie mode. Press the trigger one more time just to make sure that you are in follow mode. Bring the camera down a little bit. Use the joystick to make the camera point a little bit towards the ground to where you want it. And now we have to change the orientation of the LCD screen. So holding the trigger, move the joystick to the right. Now the orientation is upside right for our view, and you can record this way. It is smooth, not shaky. It's gonna be great footage. That's all there is to it. Voila, it's done. In order to protect the K1, you might see this warning sign from time to time, especially if you try to turn on the camera without unlocking the gimbal or the camera itself. If you see the sign, no need to panic, don't worry. Just simply press the restore button and you're good to go. Also, you might see the sign when the camera is exposed to too much heat. If that's the case, let it cool down before you use it again. Please note that the K1 is designed to shut off automatically if it's exposed to extreme heat. RemoView K1 is a portable and user-friendly integrated 4K action gimbal camera. Anyone can use this anywhere without worrying about unstable footage and shaky videos. Even after the launch of K1, there's going to be a lot of digital resources available. Please check out our YouTube channel at RemoView and thank you for watching the final RemoView K1 tutorial.